Okay, present this morning where the Oshun State Government is celebrating the Ham Forces Remembrance Day 2019. We can see that there are agitations for the military, there is agitation for those that have laid their lives down for this country. There are agitations for them to be assisted. We have the presence of the governor, the deputy governor and other top officials and functionalities in the government in the state of Oshun and other rural fathers and all top officials in the state, they were present here to just pay a remembrance to the lost souls, to those that have died, to those that have laid down their life for this country, to those that have really fought the battle for democracy, for those that have gone to war and they died at the war just for the sake of Nigerians. So this is a remembrance day where the government of Oshun State is, is, is remembering them and is also consoling their family, their agitations from other top officials of the, of the security agencies that the family and the widows and the defendants of this of these lost souls they they need assistance more than what they have been doing before so the security agencies starting from the military the armed forces and other top security agencies are pleading are asking for more assistance there should be reinforcement there should be elevation in the assistance they are giving to the widows and those depending on the Nigerian militaries who has lost their souls during the war during the war, after the war, and those that are at war presently, they are facing risk. Some are facing Boko Haram, some are facing other, other uh, criminalities in the world. So they are agitating for the assistance for them. And I hope Osho State Government will take this seriously and do the needful for the family of the Lord Souls. Thank you. My name is Kayode Ayeni, ABN TV News, Osho State, Nigeria.
has not taken their position at the sign of top.
Ago, the Nigerian civil war came to an end. Arms and might gave way to reason and peace. A new dawn was birth and a fresh and defeasible Nigeria, procured with the patriotism and supreme sacrifices of our gallant compatriots, emerged. In appreciation and commemoration of this sacrifice of these patriots, this day was set aside as the Armed Forces Remembrance Day. I was expanded to immortalize our gallant soldiers who fought in the World War One, World War Two, the peace support operations across the world, and internal security operations to keep humanity, the world, and the nation united and in peace. Consequently, I bring with me this day the deep appreciation of the government and the people of the state of Oshun of the passion and patriotism of our fallen heroes and veterans who laid down their lives so that we can keep us men whose historic deeds rescued a shattering world and nation from the brinks. Their patriotism delivered to us peace, democracy, development, and a united and prosperous Nigeria. If they had declined to rise to the occasion, at the most trying times, we will have had a chattered, battered, and disoriented world and nation. Their supreme sacrifice speaks to us this day to respond their gesture by setting aside our differences and holding dear our shared values and beliefs which define us as a people and as a nation. The unquantified patriotism beckons on us to stand together against all manifestations and semblances of insurgency and terrorism that shake the foundations of our nation and our peace. The unparalleled sacrifice demands from us minimal acts in honor of their memory and sacrifice to live together in peace, collectively grow our democracy, engender sustainable development stand together against all centrifugal forces that threaten the dignity and peace of our nation. We remain stronger when we obey our individual will and believe in Nigeria that makes our differences irrelevant 
and keep us together during the sports contest and the plus him to fight the fifth columnist who present their service interests as our collective interests and drive us to engage in acts that stoke crisis and discontent. Peace is the other side of war. Our fallen heroes and veterans have fought wars so that we can enjoy peace. We therefore hold them a responsibility to nurture the peace so that we may not need to fight another war. I therefore enjoy us to live the spirit and letter of the motto and creed of our nation, unity and faith, peace and progress. Let us stay united, face the future with faith and hope, and work for the peace of the nation to deliver and enjoy the progress that we all desire. We all have a responsibility as a nation and as a people to continue to take care of legionnaires and the families of the fallen heroes. Taking care of their welfare is the measure of our compassion and the volume and quality of our appreciation as beneficiaries of their sacrifices. These acts of reciprocation and compassion are encouragement and motivation for our gallant soldiers who are currently fighting insurgency, peace support, and internal security operations across the world. Each year, since we came into power, we have rallied around our fallen heroes and provided for their needs. Our policies and programs have been directed at them and the people through adequate, equitable, and qualitative service delivery. I thank our faith-based organizations, groups, and well-meaning Nigerians for complementing our efforts. Let us all continue to scale up the intervention in the loving memory of our fallen compatriots and in the service of our veterans. I commend the armed forces for strategizing day and night to fight insurgency and terrorism and keep the nation safe. Their commitment to the security and safety of the nation gives the confidence that one and indivisible Nigeria is possible and non-negotiable. I urge us all to continue to believe in Nigeria and to engage in acts that will not only deliver a strong, united, and prosperous Nigeria, but also make the sacrifices of our fallen heroes and veterans worldwide. May God continue to bless the Federal Republic of Nigeria and the state of Osun. God bless you all.
The extra department is one of our functions to cater for the welfare of the widows and dependents of the fallen heroes. Uh, for instance, last year, just to cut the whole short, the donation we received during that last period, uh, during last year's event, was judiciously expended on them. We organized a welfare package that. Uh, that's uh, cut up for almost 400 widows, the sick, the aged ones, and other functions, especially of us, as contained in the decree. Uh, in my speech, we, and we always request what we expect them is just to continue to be assisting us more than what they have been doing. Because we have many more things to do for the widows and the dependents, and even for we, the aged ones. So we continue to appeal to them for further assistance. In those in my request for certain things, we, we urge them to please put it in mind and do it for us because we, we know they are positioned to do it. They should not forget us. Uh, there's nothing we can do. They are already at the war front, challenging death for the benefit of all of us. Uh, we, are, we want only we hold them just to, be, to continue to be praying for them because there's nothing prayer cannot do. They are now face, facing risk, and it's only God that can bring them, and we pray that God will bring them back safely to us. And this is the end of the remembrance of the 2020 for the harm forces who has lost their soul. Kayode Ayeni, ABN TV News, Nigeria. For the people they love me, for the people they got me, I see the way you support me, I'm thankful.